Hey guys, Possible here. Uh, the other day I had to reinstall Windows 7 and ran into a bit of a problem. Windows update takes way too long in order to actually get, get it updated. And as I found, there's actually a way around it. Now, what you first have to do is download the package KB31354455. And install it. However, in order to install it, you're going to have to do something which is a little frustrating, but it's necessary, otherwise, it's not going to let you do it. Trust me, you have to. What you're going to have to do is click on your Windows Start button, then click on, well, right click on computer and go click Manage, and it should bring up this particular menu here. Then you go to Service and Applications, go to Services, and there are two services that you're going to have to disable in order to be able to install any particular package. Now, this will, will be required a few times, depending on what package doesn't seem to want to be downloaded by Windows Update. The 445 package should resolve some of it, and you should be able to download most of the actual updates the normal way afterwards. However, you're going to have to... In some cases, in individually hunt down packages and install them. So this approach, which I'm about to tell you what, what you're going to have to disable, applies to any package that you're going to have to install individually. So the first two, well, what most people will tell you is you've got to disable Windows Update. Click on Stop, and that's done. What they don't seem to mention, however, is there is another service that you need to get rid of temporarily in order to actually install anything. Now, the short name for this one is uh, BITS, which is stands for Background Intelligent Transfer Service. The irony there is not lost on me, trust me. You're going to have to stop that particular service as well, otherwise it will prevent you from installing any particular update package that you need to install individually. Once you've done that, 445 particularly, I found that waiting after a while, it finally picks up a lot of the updates that you need, and then you can just install them as is. However, I did run into some extra problems, like it failed on some some of them, and it had to roll back some of the others. However, it's not a problem. Just go back to Windows Update, and hopefully it'll still show up what you need. However, you'll probably run into the next problem, which is essentially it'll say 0% downloading, but it's only like little bits of data. It shouldn't take that bloody long. Reality is, is it's just hung, the same problem. But all you have to do, have a look at the actual individual packages, find the actual numbers in the, K in the KB, go to Google, do a search, and after that is a simple matter of essentially doing the same thing, going into manage uh, computer, computer management, and stopping the same two servers every time you have to install the individual package. After a while, with a little bit of patience, you'll finally have Windows up to date and it's ready to be used. I can't tell you how very frustrating this is, but I will say that I am not endorsing Windows 10. I whether this is a whether this Windows update is being a broken in such a way that it encourages Windows 10, I think is in a, in short disgusting. And it frustrates me because the things I already know about Windows 10, I have no desire to use it. I don't want to support a, a, an OS system that tries to encourage a closed system environment where my, it's controlled, everything is controlled by Microsoft. That kind of monopoly, in every instance that a monopoly is created, fucks everything up. No, simply no. So for those of you who still want to use Windows 7, the much more stable OS, that in my opinion, I'm sure you might have found something about Windows 10 that applies to you. I, however, don't like the, the differences between the two systems and are happy to use the older, uh, the older OS. Anyway, that's me possible. Now, I do have uh, more gaming-related videos, especially I've got another uh, one to do with Fallout 4. Uh, also a review. However, like I said, some of the heart... Some of that stuff is on a hard drive that's failed, and I'm trying to do a bit of data recovery to get most of it back, some of the assets, but some of it I have to rebuild and re-record. But the other video I've already got a footage for, I shouldn't take more than a little bit of time to get it done. It won't have the similar, it won't have necessarily the format that I want just yet, but it will be what, to those who are interested. Anyway, that's me possible. If you found this video useful, 
please feel free to sub. I appreciate every time that you do this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.